Well, hello there! Welcome back to the Powder Toy. And today, your Emperor is going to attempt building an engine. Like a realistic one. Now that we've figured out pistons, the world is truly our oyster. So we're gonna make our engine a single... It's gonna be really damn simple, alright? We're, we're gonna try to make this real simple. We're gonna, we're gonna go all out. Spike Viper trying to actually engineer today. Brilliant. All right, okay. All right, so we got we got our piston everything all set um, It's it's not great, but it's not awful now. Let's go ahead and set up the part that lets the oxygen and the uh, Shoot I just realized there's another issue. We need to get the exhaust out somehow So if we have frame here This is when we start getting technical all right, so we got our frame here, and we've got our... We'll just do a ceramic plug here. Great, and then we're gonna have a piston. Um, actually, this has to be kinda... We wanna start this... All the way opened. All right, there we go. And then we get piston. If you guys remember how we did it last time, you have to do two piston in a row. And then you do absolute chad magic. We put one insulator here so that it doesn't backflow. We do P silicon here. We do a little bit of titanium coming down here and... Yes, that will push. Okay, so these need to be separated a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean a lot a bit more. But there is a material that does that. Uh, where is the... <coughs> delay. There is a delay. There it is. And that is exactly what we need. So we put some delay here. And I don't remember what it uses. Temperature dependent. Okay. Then that opens it. So we want the closing function to be much faster. We want to cool this down. So it opens, closes. Okay. Not that quick. But like a little bit quick. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Opens, closes. Opens, closes. Good. All right, now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of uh, Hmm. And then after that closes. So after this gets powered, it needs to spark. So off of here, we're going to go this way. And then we're going to do P silicon going to Wi Fi. You guys are like, holy guacamole, he's starting to get complicated. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. So let's insulate this. And let's do our best to also insulate this. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to burn away since it was on fire before. But uh, what can we really do about that? Not much. Some of you may be cringing, but this is my first time designing something like this, so... Um... It's gonna go as well as it goes. Really? Can't do much else. Alright. Fuel in. We need a longer gap before it, uh... Before it sparks. So, you know how that works. We're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this. We're going to actually swap this to go this way. 
And then we're gonna put another delay here, which will then go out and into the Wi-Fi. I I'm generally scared to like rip things apart and redesign them because it's painful putting it all back together, but you know, at some point you just have to get past that. Just gotta get past that as an engineer, you know? Sometimes a good amount of redesign is the only way to really fix something. It helps when you can just hit R to rotate things as well. So we want it to be like this. There we go. We have we have really really changed it up now. Oh, great, so it screwed up the other part. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, now it's pulling that backwards. Oh my god. Why? Why does thou do this to me? Okay, what about that? Okay, this actually looks fine. It hasn't freaked out yet. That's gotta count for something, right? Is the void part even necessary? I don't think the void part is even necessary. I think that having it block it from falling down is what we had to do. Nope. Maybe that part just has to be open? I mean, it's not perfect. It's it's kind of working, it's just not perfect. And I'd, I'd like to get to the point of being working every single time. Right there. See how that didn't work? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually, uh... I'm gonna do this. I think this will help. I think it's because the spark plug just is not always hitting. So by making the sparker just a little bit larger, I think it'll make it so that it'll always hit. And honestly, we can we can expand it like this quite a bit. Like not the most realistic, but you know, it's the powder toy. And if we got a bunch of these uh cylinders in series, we could actually make a real engine. I think I think this is it. I think this works. Obviously, we aren't pushing oxygen in, which makes this kind of incorrect. Um, but we could push oxygen in. I wonder, should, should I bother? You guys are probably going to say right now, yes, you should bother. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... Copy this entire uh, thing and shift it over here. Okay, and the second part is that that's not being powered. <laughs> uh, maybe it needs P silicon. Hey, okay. how do you power stasis wall? Or perhaps you need to use magical conductor wall. <sighs> yes, you need to use magical conductor wall. Okay, that's fine. Just need to be a little bit careful not to shock the entire damn thing. Okay, so that works. 
now we expand this because uh, oxygen is actually uh, or gases in this game require a little bit more forethought right we do this so that it's all that And we run into our first problem, which is that we're going to have that happen, but with a little bit of fan. It still doesn't solve the problem. Not surprising. I actually think that we really need this to come in over here. This is such a mess. Oh boy. This is how engineering projects go. They always start so pretty. And then, uh... And then you start adding. And you keep adding. And you never ask why. Okay, that did actually... That did actually put oxygen in. So that's going to explode. Um, we need to force the oxygen to go in the direction we want it to, which is this way. But the issue is there isn't enough space. All right, we expand this further. And it frickin' explodes. Okay. It's not really the result we want. All right, we put the fans up at the beginning to ensure that it is moving at a high speed right off the bat. We open this up a little bit more to allow the pressure to make it through. We redesign this to be way less awful. But conductor, 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 and then we do stasis, stasis, stasis. You may say, what about everything getting sparked because of the conductor? Yeah, I'm on it, alright? We replace this section with just a whole lot of ceramic. Hell, we'll replace... This saw was ceramic too. We'll we'll keep it pretty and simple. All of the ceramic. All right, we check the pressure display. That explodes because this is is a sparky spark, and sparky sparks cause electric cause cause oxygen to explode um i didn't think about this i'm literally sparking the oxygen all right uh new plan hopefully stasis wall carries it through more stasis wall we do that we do this all right take 72 it gets stuck good there we go. All right. Boy, that actually kind of worked. Except for this stuff getting caught here. But I have a solution for that. It's called don't explode. I've I've already told you not to explode, yet you still continue to stop exploding. Please. I said uh Okay. Why is it exploding? Let's ask that question first. Is there a reason why it's exploding? Let's close this off so it couldn't possibly be another source. No, it, it's... Is it is it because the stasis wall is... is carrying charge? Okay, no, it worked that time. Okay, so what we really need is fans here now to pull this through here.
Nope, that did not work in the slightest. <sighs> Maybe we just need to open it up further. It doesn't even seem like the fans are doing anything. Like the pressure display here, I am I am not having a good time with this pressure display. Fans, pull your damn weight. Holy hell. No, just explode, just explode. That, that works too. How about you just literally explode? Okay, apparently it's gotta be because of the stasis wall is there. So maybe if I put some fans behind it, I go like this. Nope, nope. It is it is just not having a good time. Everything's on fire. Everything's dead and decaying. Wait a moment, I'm dumb. All I don't I don't need fans. I just need to make this unbearably high pressure. If this is super high pressure in here, should uh car carry through there, right? Oh great, the oil exploded and we have we have an electrical leak. And everything broke. All right. We're going to stick with this for now. We're going to next time add the oxygen. But for for now, whatever. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this. All right. No, I didn't save any. Oh. Man, that wait, no, I can still go but no, I can't. Ugh. Okay, I just Damn it. All of my changes. See kids, this is why you hit the save button when you want to save something. Did it at least was that when I had already increased the length of the... No. Okay. So this one was at like... I didn't want to do that. <laughs> he... Okay, so this one was at like 150, and this was at like 250. Something like that. Let's see if it works. We. I mean, that works really well. Um, oh, it broke itself. That's... That's nice. How? No, it's working. I don't- I don't know what happened there, but... Great! You know what? That's good enough for me for now, right? We will- we will get the oxygen side of things working, but I- I think this, uh, demonstrates that we're- we're making progress in the whole engineering thingy, alright? That was an hour of my life, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what I should try to engineer in the comments below and, and maybe share the channel so that I don't die. I've been doing so much work on Valor and stuff. You, you guys, you guys will see. You will see the work I've been putting into things. Just remember, your emperor cares about you and uh, you can give some of that care back by throwing a like, subscribe, catching me on a stream, maybe super chatting, anything so that I don't have to eat ramen. I mean, ramen's good, but not every day and every meal.